Hey guys, A. Seaton here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a manual clean on the Roland VG2 540. Um, pretty simple, but it's something you need to do, you know, I'll do it once a week every Monday or bi-weekly. Um, it's good for maintenance on your printer, that way you can keep your heads clean and healthy and help the, the longevity of your head so you can have good, clear prints going forward. So we'll get into it. So depending on if you've done a manual clean or not, um, periodically what I've noticed with the, the new VG2 540s, it will actually give you a warning here on the screen telling you that you need to do a manual clean. Since I've done mine recently, last week, it has not given me that warning, but we can show you how to do a manual clean without that warning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to function and we're gonna go down to cleaning and we're gonna do a, a manual clean. So right there, manual clean, to enter and it says now processing. All right, so after you press enter, you'll notice that the head carrying cage is now moved over to the left hand side of the printer. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off this top, remove the safety guard that's underneath there, and then we can move the head over and we can start cleaning. Okay guys, so once the carrying case of the heads pulls from the left, it's gonna stop right there. And then if you notice right here, there is a safety bar here. Then on the left hand side, there's actually this screw nut. So we're gonna unscrew this nut right here and pull this out. So here is that screw nut right there. We're just gonna do it with our fingers, unscrew it. There it is. And that's all you need to do is to pull off this. So you unscrew that, we're just gonna lay it down right here. Now we can pull this tray out and be good to go. So now we can pull this tray up, so we can just lift it up and come right out. Just lay it right down here. We have our nut right there. Now we can pull over the heads from there to over here. All right, so now once we have this bar gone, we're just gonna pull over the head. Right here, and then now up underneath here, we can start cleaning. All right, so when you buy the machine, if you bought it new like we did, they provided this cleaning solution. And they also provided these to clean the heads with. As you can see, I've already went through some, but you can order some of these off of Amazon. And if I can find the links to these, I'll put them in the description. Um, but this is what you wanna use to clean the heads of your printer with. So we'll go from there. So what I like to do is just open this up, take these and just kinda dip it in there. And we'll do that real quick. So you have your cleaning solution and you have your swab. And then we're just gonna kinda like move it around in there and make sure any excess is off. And then we'll start cleaning with that. Now, with the Roland VG2, you actually have four print heads, you can see right here. And if you haven't cleaned them enough, you'll actually see some droplets on the print heads and the color of the print. Usually, it's, they're mostly even gonna be a dark brown or like a red. Sometimes you can actually see the color of the print, of the ink on there. So, we're gonna start on the sides and then we'll do the center. They don't recommend you doing the center, but if you've ever done this before, it's good to go ahead and do that. Just try not to like get them super wet and dry them out. But, so we'll start on the side right here. From back to front. You can see we have some ink there. Again, on the other side of the brush, from back to front. There we go. So it's hard to see because of the focus, but we actually have our, kind of our magenta and our cyan there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go all the way on the, the head right there. And then we're going to rotate this and we're going to do the next one. So try not to cross contaminate the ink. So there's some black there. Again. There we go. So it's hard to tell, but we actually have some ink on there. I just want to make sure that we get it all cleaned up. So now, once you do that, you're going to do the same with the other two over here. But you want to make sure that you're using a fresh, one of these cleaning things. Make sure you use a fresh one for every two heads. And there you go. So now the heads are cleaned. So now we need to move back over uh, to the right side of the printer. That way that the machine will do its pull clean and you'll be ready to go. So after you clean the head, you want to move the head over. 
for the hit case, carrying case. Move it over. Then actually what I just noticed is that I have some vinyl stuck to my knife here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull some of that excess vinyl off of my blade. And if you need to change the blades out, this is a good way to do it also. Push that over. I have this light in here so you can see a little bit better. But we're gonna take this bar here and we're gonna line it up in the channels. And sometimes it's hard to get in there. So what I've noticed over on the left hand side, if you can see right over here, push it over and the hole should line right back up. Now everything should line up exactly. So if you're having to force anything, then it's not lined up correctly. So take your time. Then we're gonna take our little screw nut here. I can see that. And put it back over on the left hand side. And we're gonna just screw it in. So mine's not lined up correctly, so I just need to make sure it's in there good. There we go. And again, just gonna screw it in. Make sure it's tight with your finger. We're gonna push this back up. Now we'll go to the right side of the printer. We'll go to the right side of the printer and we'll tell it that it's done. And we can push this over or you can just press enter over there, I believe, and it'll just move itself over. So as you can see here on the menu, it says finish. We're gonna hit enter. It automatically drug the head over here inside the printer. And you can see right here, it's gonna do a clean itself, which is actually gonna suction those heads, pull any ink through, that way it doesn't dry out the heads, and everything like that. So it's gonna start making noises, which is fine. It's gonna take about a minute, 48, to clean, and then we'll come back after that's done cleaning. So after the printer's done doing its clean, we're gonna go ahead and hit function, and we're gonna go down to cleaning, and we're gonna do test print. So we're gonna hit enter on that. So it's kinda hard to see here because of the lighting and everything, but we just did a test print, and it looks like all nozzles are checking off good. There's not a missing nozzle. It's all lining up correctly. All the colors are there. So everything looks good. All right, so that's the basics on how you're gonna do a cleaning on the VG2540. It also applies to the um, 640, any of these VG2s. Um, it's pretty much all the basic things. You can also use these methods um, on the Olin Rollins. I know um, on the SP540, it was kind of the same thing. Um, the most important thing is to do this weekly or bi-weekly. That way you can keep your machine fresh keep it uh, going, especially if you're in warranty, it's always good to do these cleans. Um, but it's pretty easy. Uh, it took me a little bit longer today for filming, but it's less than a 10 minute routine every, every week. So, but it's really good for your machine. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment or below. I'll try to, in the description, leave links to some of the cleaning products. Um, the ones I have here were provided to me by the manufacturer or the reseller that I bought the machine from, but you can buy them online um, it's just like I said, it's super easy, super, you need, you need to do it. Make sure your, your, your prints and your cleans all really good. So again, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about the rolling machine, um, how to do something, tips and tricks, please let us know. We'll be glad to help you out.